Alright, hey, what's up, everybody? This is Gratuitous with BeatStruggles.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to record uh, a turntable into FL Studio for you guys to sample. Uh, I've gotten um, tons of requests actually for this tutorial. Um, but so, what's going on here is I'm actually recording my voice through uh, my camcorder because my audio interface here, as you can see, I only have two inputs um, and it's just going to be the easiest to record and show you guys everything that's going on here. So, um, as you can see, I just have a little camcorder, have a little light here, um, you know, showing you guys how to set this all up. So, um, the first things first is, um, to set yourself up for the long run, you know, if you're going to be into like the music industry is it's always nice to kind of grab, um, a whole bunch of kind of different adapters and different cables and stuff like that because over your years you're going to see that you're going to be using uh, tons and tons of different types you know so for example as you can see here I have um, this is like a like a you know like a TS cable but then I have like a little adapter but then this is actually like a Y cable so one sec so like as you can see like this is actually like a little little Y cable connected just like that and then I have some adapters to go into the back of my audio interface with RCA and stuff like that but um but what I'm saying is you know um, I actually went to like monoprice.com and I saw like all these different um, adapters you can go for like RCA and TRS and TS and stuff like that so as you can see you'd plug that into your RCA and then, then you get TS on one, on one end of it and it's like, well, you may not, you may not even use it in five years, but all of a sudden you get a turntable, um, you know, as you start producing and now you don't have that type of adapter, but now you do, you know? So that's just something that I'm passing along to you guys. I might actually make a video. Um, as you can see here, I have like all these different cables inside here and it's like the same thing. It's just a whole bunch of kind of different connectors and stuff. And I know it's going a little off topic, but with uh, a turntable, usually they're going to be RCA. And um, as you can see here, here, I'll unplug this. Because I'll actually show you guys how to set this up from scratch, and then you guys are going to be on your way. So um, this is just like an RCA cable, and then you can't plug RCA into here, right? So I have um, an RCA to TS adapter. So one sec, sorry. So as you see here, it's TS to RCA. And then that allows me to plug that in to record my audio interface. Um, another option is to actually buy um, like RCA to TS cables or, or, or like whatever you want to go. That's the reason why I'm saying it's nice to have all these different adapters to set yourself up for the long run. Also, um, another thing I will mention is this is, uh, I think, the Newmark TTX USB. Man, this thing's like 500 bucks, I think. And it's like, you do not need that, that nice of a turntable if, if all you're wanting to do is just sample. You know, if you just want to record audio off of your turntable into your computer, you do not need this nice of a turntable. Like, you can get away with one for like, you know, 100 bucks, 80 bucks kind of thing. Because all you're wanting to do is just record off of, you know, off of here, off of, through that needle, <laughs> right into your computer, you know? These are for more like scratching, DJing, all that kind of stuff. Anyways, this is um, in behind the turntable. Um, it's actually a really poor design. Like they should have put this power port the other way so you can actually like access the volume knob and these RCA connectors. So all that's going on in the back of this turntable here is uh, we're just plugging in RCA. So in sec, as you can see, you know, this would go into the red, which is your right and white is your left. And then, you know, then it eventually goes into uh, the audio interface, which we will get to. To set this up, RCA, put it online, and just plug your power in. And uh, I'll talk to you in a second. Okay, so here we are. Um, this little vinyl I got here, let's see if you can read that. Symphony Espanol D. Minor. <laughs> anyway, so throw that on there, turn it on. So take it off, put the needle on. And so what I'll do is I'll just come in here to FL Studio and we will actually just uh, in enable some audio. I will show you how to do that, but um, here um, 
just so you can kind of hear different kind of snippets as things are going on. So that's it. And you can probably hear that already. Okay, so what we've done so far is we plugged in our RCA cable, plugged into the power, put it on line, switch on the back, turned it on, dropped the needle. Um, you know, now it's just a matter of hitting play. Okay, now how you can record this in FL Studio, what you're gonna do is, um, right now I have a special piece of software to allow, to give me all these kind of different inputs and outputs, making it easy to record and stuff like that. But what you're gonna do is whatever channel you wanna actually record on, you just select that channel. You're gonna, let's say, insert four, okay? You can actually click this, and if you want to record, you can record it that way. So for example, you would just right click, let's just go recorded, go insert that. Now when we click record, you can go uh, everything. So now it's just a matter of clicking play. This is one way to do it, I would not recommend it. I would probably do it through Edison, but I'll show you just how to record it this way. So you click play, now there, you know, you can see it's moving. Now it's just a matter of hitting play and hit stop and there it is. So actually, as you can see right here, that's only the right speaker. So once it leaves the turntable, you know, it's just a matter of plugging it into your audio interface and churning up and down the volume. Okay, so like I was saying before, this is RCA and you cannot plug this, you know, into a TRS or XLR. Um, I think they call them like Nutrick connect connectors. So that's the reason why I have this little uh, adapter. So I'm gonna plug that in. Okay, so as you can see, we have both plugged in. You know, you're gonna wanna try and match these volumes kind of close, just so you can kind of keep a nice symmetrical stereo sound. Otherwise, you know, it'll sound uneven. Um, but we'll keep it like that. And now when I would actually play it, so if I play it right now. Right, so you can turn it down, down, back up. Right, so that that's how you actually record your audio. But now, when what like how I would recommend, how I suggest to do it, which would be by far the easiest way, is you don't want to record how like this. You don't want to record it into like a raw file. You just want to record it into Edison. Okay, so the shortcut is hitting Control and E. So like you select like a insert, Control E pops up Edison. But since I only have one hand at the moment, uh, we're going to go. Let's see where I monitoring. So I just gotta find it here. There we go, Edison. Okay, so here's Edison. And so since we are on insert four, we've opened up Edison on that channel. We've allowed recording inputs one and two. And in our case, this is inputs one and two, okay? So since we've allowed recording inputs one and two, we can now, any audio will be going through Edison. So it's a matter of clicking record here and the audio that we play will be going through Edison, which makes it really easy for you to drop and drag uh, things wherever you want them. Super, super easy. This is by far the, the most versatile way because if you don't do a good recording, you can just erase it really quickly and it doesn't really save to your hard drive unless you want it to. Okay, so um, you know whatever you want to choose here, I'm gonna go on input. So I'll hit re uh, record. Now, as soon as they hit play, okay. So as you can see, you know, that audio isn't very loud, so we can just kind of crank, we can just crank these up. You know, you guys kind of get the point. But now, um, how you can actually sample off this, the easiest way I find in FL Studio, is you want to um, open up Slicex. So let's see, here's Slicex right here. Just drop and drag it in. Now, this audio file from Edison, this little icon up here, you just want to drop and drag it in there. And it has all these, these chops. You can go that way, or you can right click and go like medium auto slicing, which is what that is. So that's a little too much maybe for me. You don't want sharp and dull slicing. That might be a little better in our case. And then now when you hit your MIDI keyboard, you know, and by sampling and stuff and doing stuff like this, you can create, you can find really cool sounds that you can kind of store for yourself for later. Like even sounds like that. They're pretty quiet, but but like they could be powerful, right? So also another thing that I have to, you know, kind of give you guys a disclaimer of is when you are using other people's music, there are copyrights involved. So, you know, um, play at your own risk kind of thing. If you guys do sample, um, another way to kind of get around all that stuff is to make your own music, sample your own stuff. 
Um, it's still not the same vibe as, you know, sampling something like you just heard. Like that's kind of like a classic orchestra kind of sound, right? And if you were to sample that, you can make some really kind of sampled music. You know, there's nothing like sampled music, but, you know, there is copyright issues and stuff like that. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so just another little quick rundown on how that all went down. You know, it's just a matter of plugging in your turntable so it has power. Um, you have your RCA cables. Plug those in accordingly, red, red and white. And then here on the front, you know, since this is not RCA, this takes TS, TRS, and uh, XLR cables, um, I had to use a little adapter to get my RCA in there. You know, you can go to monoprice.com and buy all your little adapters. And, you know, on, honestly, like, if you keep producing music and stuff like that and buying different audio equipment, you're going to be using those connectors. And then I also set these switches to instrument, uh, not line. Line is usually if you just want like audio just to pass through because it's already at like that loud signal. Whereas here I am wanting to boost it up and stuff like that. And it'll just allow like these preamps to, you know, have more, more drive to them too. So, um, and then inside here, inside FL Studio, um, you know, I showed you two ways how to actually record. So first of all, you just want to select an insert, whatever, whatever insert it is, let's say four. Um, now here you're going to have different options. Like, like I'm saying, I'm using some software, so I have lots of ins and outs, uh, and stuff like that. So a whole bunch of ins, some outs and stuff. Um, but if you're just using like your audio interface, you're going to have like probably in my case, I only have two inputs, you know, left and right, right here. So, um, it would just be a matter of selecting one and two. Or if you have more inputs, you know, you, you just find whatever your inputs are. Again, how I recommend is open up Edison, record it through this. This is by far your easiest way. You can just click and drag it wherever you want it. And then um, you can also just click and drag right into the, into the browser, into the playlist, and it will save um, just right into whatever folder you want. So just open up the folder prior and it'll do that. Um, or you can actually click like the actual save icon, save it through that. Um, but this is your easiest way by far. And then to actually chop and sample and stuff like that, I like Slicex the best uh, because inside Slicex you can, you have like your piano roll and um, you know, I just find it makes it super easy. So um, that's how I would record my turntable into FL Studio to sample off, off some vinyl or something like that. Um, again, just be careful with copyright issues. Um, hopefully this video helps you out. Uh, again, I'm Gratuitous. This is BeatStruggles.com, and I will talk to you later.